fast cap, I want to show you guys the male to male connector for the best fence. So what this is, is it's a connector that connects one fence to another one. So our fences come in a standard 64 inch length. If you want more length out from your saw than 64 inches, you can get a second fence and you can connect the two together with your best fence male to male connector. To do that, first thing you want to do is you want to install your inner fence. So you're going to pop it down onto the pads, put your locating pin in, and it'll be all secure on there. You're then going to want to get out your upper hand. Upper hand is this guy. And you're going to adjust it to about the right height. So just set it next to the end of that first fence once you got that fence leveled out and pump it up so it's about the height of the bottom side of that. And then you're going to just stick it out here a little ways. Then you can go ahead and start installing your connector. So you'll see the connector has a indicator mark for the center right here. You're going to take the connector and pop it into this first fence. You want to line up that center indicator with the edge of the fence right there. And you should see there's two holes in the front of the connector that match up with holes in the fence. So once you push the back in, you just rock the front up and in. And then you can take your pin and your pin should slide right in securely into it right there. Then I'm going to take my outer fence. Time to put the outer fence on. So with the outer fence, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to rock it onto the back of the connector like so, and then pop that front edge down. And then make sure I get my upper hand positioned. It goes right underneath this red sticker. It says place upper hand here. That's the ideal position for it. Now I got that one rocked in. Make sure that you put your second pin in to lock that fence in place so your measurement stays right across the gap. And now you're good to go. And in order to remove the male to male connector, basically just the opposite process, to pull both pins out, then you're gonna take your outer fence, grab this front edge and pull up on it and it'll pop off. And you can pull it right off the back there, hang it on your stand. And then to remove the connector from the first fence, you're gonna take your hand on this front edge and you're just gonna push down on it like that and that'll pop right out and you can go in your tool bag, ready to fold it up. All right, so if you bought a male to male connector after, say you oh. bought a Pro 2 and then you got an extension fence and you need to add it on yourself, you can drill this out yourself. So when you buy the male to male connector and a fence, it's gonna come with a connector and a drill bit. It's a number 30 drill bit. Your connector is gonna come with two tethers on the bottom and two pins. So what you need to do is you're gonna snap this in to your first fence. You'll see on the front side, there's a center indicator line. So you wanna line that line up with the edge of your fence, just about like that. And then you're gonna rock the backside in first and then just push up hard and it'll snap right into place. Then you can take your second fence and you're going to snap that on. You'll wanna make sure you get your upper hand set up out here as a support. Take your second fence, connect the backside in, and then again, rock the front down, snap it down nice and tight. Make sure you pull your seam tight and then get your upper hand in there supporting it so you don't have to hold it. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scribe a line across here for your pins to go in. So you're gonna scribe your line about 5 eighths inch down from the top surface here. So I'm of course using an AccuScribe Pro here. I already got it set, so I'm just gonna put it on my top surface and I'm gonna scribe my line across there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this other fence. Like that, now you're ready to drill. The one thing you're gonna need for this is you're going to need a clamp. I'm of course using the jack of all trades from FastCap with your clamp. You just want to clamp it right across the gap there so you're clamping both fences down tight to that connector. Now I'm clamped in tight and then you want to make a mark about one inch out from the center line here. It doesn't have to be exactly an inch but you're going to make your mark about one inch out. So take an inch, make my mark, there's my drill hole. Same thing on the other side here, one inch out right about there, make my mark. All right, so now I have my connector clamped in. I have my two drill spots marked. So you're gonna use your number 30 drill bit. Um, I'm actually using a little stopper here too. If you're not using it, that's fine. You just wanna make sure when you run the drill in, you're not running your chuck into the fence and scratching it up. And it might be necessary to adjust the clamp just a little bit before you drill to get it out of the way back and forth. Just when you do, make sure you're clamped tightly on both pieces. Take your drill bit, line up on your mark. Drill your hole, and then you can pop your pin in right there. 
Make sure you pop that pin in before you drill the other hole. I'm gonna adjust my clamp over to the other side. And then I'm gonna drill my other hole right on that mark. Pop your other pin in there. And you can release your clamp. You're good to go. Make sure you stick a level on it and adjust your upper hand until you get them perfectly level. But you now have a nice, solid, secure connection between your two fences. Good to go. And then just a quick note, if you are using our flat fence as opposed to the standard fence with the backstop, the flat fence actually has this groove here along the front side. So you're not going to have to scrub a line. You can use that groove as your scribed line and just drill right in there. You'll just have to mark your one inch out from the end.